Hi, and welcome to Window Cleaning Dude. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about hoses and I'm gonna show you how to empty out your hose. So before I go ahead and <clears throat> get into showing you how to empty out a hose, uh, I'm gonna take you outside and uh, take a hose that's actually already filled and empty it out for you so you can you know, get the gist of how that all works out. Uh, but before we do that, I want to go ahead and mention that I'm going to link in the, the description down below uh, on some hoses that I recommend that are very inexpensive uh, where you can purchase those online. Also, if you go over to windowcleaningdude.com, you can learn more about hoses there as well. And uh, there should also be a link in the uh, link there also for you to link and uh, find uh, a good hose. So before I actually go outside and start uh, showing you the, the process, uh, let me just talk a little bit about hoses really quick, which is that you know, there are different quality of hoses. Uh, obviously a nice rubber hose is a, a very good quality hose. Um, and then there's kind of like some inter intermediary um, quality of hoses. Now, if you can afford it, definitely buy a nice uh, rubber hose. They are a little heavier, uh, but they're gonna last a lot longer. And I usually use this uh, green hose. It's kind of an intermediary hose, which is the one I'm gonna link to in the description. Um, I've used that for years and I've always been happy with that. It's a little lighter in terms of the weight and the only reason why I choose that is because oftentimes when I'm lugging all my equipment uh, from my vehicle to a good spot at the either the commercial building that I'm cleaning or most likely the residential location, uh, if I can cut down on some of that weight, I definitely want to do that. I'm trying to make as few trips as possible to and from my vehicle uh, to my spot where I'm going to set up. So, you know, rubber hose, a nice traditional thick rubber hose is a lot heavier so I go with the green one because it's a little lighter but it's not the cheapest hose I have tried the actual really cheap hoses where they just kind of collapse in on themselves I do not recommend those it seems like a great idea right like I got this one where you could actually wind up like on a spool and it just collapsed down completely flat and I was like this is awesome it, it's winding up easy it's not it's really lightweight uh, but the problem with that hose was it did not last very long and the water pressure uh, we'll just bust those hoses so fast, so you're just wasting your time there. Now you do want to get a 25 foot hose if possible. Uh, you could do 50 feet, but that's kind of long. I wouldn't recommend that unless you're using it for a water fed pole system and you just want that extra length of hose. But if you're just doing primarily residential, you're going to find that a 25 foot is pretty much what you need. You don't want to go much shorter than that because oftentimes you're trying to set up in a location that's out of the way of your customer uh, uh, for their vehicle coming in and out of the garage and stuff like that. So you do want to at least have a 25 foot hose. Uh, but once again, steer clear those those cheap hoses that are going to just bust out and you just your day is ruined in terms of being able to clean screens effectively. I'm going to go ahead now and uh, switch over to the outside video and show you how to uh, do hoses. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and talk about how to empty out your hose the right way so that when you put it in your vehicle, uh, you're not going to have water going everywhere. So this is what you do. First, you're going to go ahead and take your nozzle off. We got water now coming out the back here just by taking this it's releasing the pressure now what you want to do is just take one end and take it over your shoulder like this go all the way down the hose and so by bringing it up like this it's forcing the water to go down take your time don't go too fast if you go too fast water will actually uh, won't have enough time to go down the hose and then uh, it will actually be trapped in the hose and then could come out in your vehicle when you're, when you're going to your next job. So try to just get a nice, even pace going. Now here I got a kink, so this is a problem. I might wanna go back a little ways and just make sure it didn't get trapped when the kink happened. Now, if you're not sure if, uh, if it keeps kinking like that and you're not sure if the water's getting trapped, the one thing you can do is just go ahead and just lay your hose out completely straight so that there's no way it's going to kink and then just 
basically walk down the length of the hose past you know once you've laid it out in a straight line then just walk down the hose like that and then you know for sure that there's no possible water being still trapped in the hose so that when you wind it up and put it in your vehicle uh, it's not going to spill out okay once you've finished emptying out your hose you want to wind your hose up like this you can wind it up a little tighter than this but this is the general idea so that you can then go ahead and place it in your vehicle it'll be all nice and uh, ready to go so if you did like this video please go ahead and give me the thumbs up if you found some of this information useful also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and be a part of my window cleaning community here on youtube and show youtube that you do appreciate these videos also please visit windowcleandude.com where you can find everything i have to offer you for free how to start your business start to finish and then uh, hit that notification bell for up upcoming videos and don't forget to comment down below for anything window cleaning related that you want to know more about or talk about and I will see you in the next episode.